I am Catherine Crane. Sharon, I am your mother. Good God. It's not true. Is it, Papa? It can't be. No. Your mistress is Catherine Crane. Well, it all fits together. We were told that she died right around the time you disappeared. Mother? Yes, darling. I am. No, wait a minute. You, you died. You died when I was a little girl, and Father blamed me for your death. Puppy, I don't understand. What is this all about? I'm sorry, Sharon. No, I just don't understand what kind of freak would try and upset you in the middle of our wedding. But she seems so genuine. I feel such a connection to her. I know, and that is exactly what she is praying on, Sharon. Please, do not listen to her, okay? I'm telling you, this woman is as bad as Alistair. No! No, no, I'm not! You know what? You guys would be perfect together. Why? Why would you tell me that you're my mother? Oh, Sharon, please. Don't bother, okay? Any woman that would break apart my family the way she did isn't going to give you a straight answer. But I don't understand. Why would you lie to me? Why would you tell me that you're my mother when I miss her so much? Why? Listen, this has all gotten out of hand. You stay out of this. I'm just trying to explain, Luis. In all the pandemonium, my wife misspoke. She meant no harm. No harm? Look what she's done to Sheridan, claiming to be her mother. I mean, what the hell is wrong with you? Leave her alone, Luis. If this whole thing is anybody's fault, it is Mama's. What? Me? Yeah. She kept pushing Mrs. Willard to admit she was somebody else. She wouldn't take a no for an answer until finally Mrs. Willard had to say something. This is all your fault. Sweetheart, it's no one's fault. It was just a mistake, an unfortunate one, but none to mean any kind of harm. I mean, Sheridan knows that Mrs. Wheeler has a daughter of her own whom she hasn't seen in many years. I mean, she misses her terribly. I mean, that's who you were thinking about when you were telling Sheridan that you were her mother, isn't it? I mean, she made a mistake when she spoke because she got caught up in Sheridan's needs and her own. I mean, come on, everyone, let's... Now, we've all been under a great deal of pressure here. Let's not make any more of this than is necessary. We'll go. And please, you know, continue with your wedding. And we wish you all the happiness. Yes. We don't need your wishes. Hey, uh, why don't we just forget that any of this ever took place? And uh, Mrs. Wheeler is most certainly not Sheridan's mother. Come on. No, it's okay, honey. It's okay. It's all right. It's going to be all right. We just, we just need to get out of here. Come on. Sheridan's mother. I've held it in for so long. Yeah, I know you couldn't help, honey. I mean, Pilar wasn't letting up, and then when Sheridan begged you for the truth... I must could... have been out of my mind. But I so desperately wanted to be a part of my daughter's... the happiest day of her life. What have I done? You, you don't need to explain it to me. Hmm? Do you think it was Alistair who sent those flowers with a card inside that said I was Catherine Crane? Well, he must have arranged it before he was poisoned, and there's no other explanation. Oh, Mark, what am I gonna do? Nothing. Hey. Stop blaming yourself for loving your daughter. But I've hurt her even more now. No, it'll be okay. Huh? Louise convinced her it couldn't be true. I guess you're right. It's better that Sheridan be upset over a lie than have her whole life with Louise ruined with the truth. Any mother who'd been separated from her daughter would have done the same thing. I have a confession to make, Martin. There was a second there after I told Sheridan I was her mother. It felt wonderful to finally be able to tell her. It was such a gift. And I was ready to tell her how much I loved her, how much I've always loved her. And the reason I left her when she was such a little girl, I was this close. I know, I know. You know, you mustn't regret how it turned out. In a way, we saved us by convincing Sheridan you were lying. It's ironic, isn't it? 
Louis hates me so much, he just assumes that everything that comes out of my mouth is a lie. Yeah, well, this time it worked in our favor. I'd like to see it that way, Martin. I really would. But that one moment when Sheridan believed me, we were mother and daughter again. It felt so wonderful. I know. Sheridan, where are you going? I have to find her. I just hope she hasn't left the grounds already. Let's get out of here. Wait, please don't go. I need to talk to you. Martin, what am I going to do? Just... All right. I know what you said. And I know what I've been told my entire life. But there is a bond between us. And it is so strong and so powerful. And I have felt it from the first moment we met. And I still feel it now, even, even more strongly. You are my mother, aren't you? Please, don't lie to me. I need to know the truth. Are you my mother?